All right, guys, welcome back. Well, we did it again. We went into Calgary for some deals on the online market, and this is what we found for, let's see here, 840 Canadian, which is 645 US dollars, we picked up. A 5600 XT Red Devil, which is pretty sweet. A 5700 XT Nitro Plus. That monitor, as well as this stand here <laughs> and then just some cables here but we got all of this for that price so that's pretty sweet now today's video I wasn't actually expecting to get this today uh, but it just popped up so like Kate gotta grab it I'm already driving down there so whatever I went down there for this guy the 5600 XT because I wanted to see how much of efficiency king this thing really is I want to do my own testing and see if like everything I've been reading is true on this card. Can we get 75 watts at 43-ish mega hash? I'm guessing around 100 or so, 110. But we're going to see if we're actually pulling 75 to 120 in that range. So this is going to be an efficiency test. If you saw my last video, going to be using the same deal here. Same frame and everything. We'll be pulling the pulse out, putting the 5600 in there. And then the next video we'll be comparing actually the pulse with the nitro side by side, see which one's better, how they do. They'll most likely be fairly close to the same. This is supposed to be better on cooling, so we'll test that out. And then we'll just throw them all together in this rig and let it run away and hash. <laughs> so stay tuned and let's take a look at the efficiency of the known 5600 XT Efficiency King. Just wanted to point out, look at that red devil. Some first looks at this. The heat sink is huge. Now just holding this thing, like, it's got some weight to it. I think it's almost heavier than my 5700 Pulse there. And look at the size difference. You can see the size there. It's slightly smaller, but it's got some weight to it. And you can see that heat sink is deadly. Huge. That should definitely keep this card cool. And probably does not need something so big, but we'll check. Now it's an 8 pin and a 6 pin. We'll see if we need both of those or not. We also have a dual bio switch on this one as well, so that's another thing we'll check out, both modes. Okay, so we're loaded up in Hive, just the system. Show you here, we have all the PCI Express unplugged, all that is running is our system right here. Ooh, zoom out a bit, there we go, we got those fans and our CPU fans, and we're loaded up in Hive, down there, and we are drawing 19 and a half watts with the odd spike to 21. Just look at that card. <laughs> Does that look pretty sweet or what? Oh, that's a little zoom in there. But yeah. So we are loaded up. We are in Hive OS, as you can see over there. And we're going to check our power. Whoa. Okay, so it's like 37.3 on a constant. So we're going to go with 37, let's see it, yeah we'll go with 37.3. I'm going to change it up a bit here, I got all the system fans running right now so we're going to have a higher system wattage, so we're sitting at, uh, looks around 22.4 steady, so yeah we'll go 22.5 and it falls over, anyway, so 22.5 and then the BIOS switch here. Now I downloaded both BIOSes and they're both the same so I don't know like I said this was used so I don't know if they they did something with it but both are the same so I actually flashed the towards position just like how I did with my pulse and forward here it will be stock so we're going to do our stock tester settings and we're going to test our settings with the uh, the BIOS modded version and see what we get. Our system idle with the card in is 40.5 so we're sitting at 40.5 system idle here the red devil 5600 XT which works out to about the same numbers here before you see it's 19 and a half by 37 is 17.8 and now we're at 22.5 system with 40.5 idle at 18 watts so pretty much the exact same usage so those numbers do match up which is good to see 
Okay, so we're kind of running into difficulties with the stock BIOS. Uh, this is the original one here, and like I said, it was on both switches. So the 111. And like, it would not mine under 150 watts at all. So I don't know what was going on with that. So I just skipped that. We modded it. I also downloaded the uh, off the power color website there's BIOS mods for all the variants of uh, whatever brand you have they have a new BIOS for it this is the power color one for the Red Devil you can see OC then when I flashed it and downloaded it it comes out as 5600 XT and 113 so it looks like it's two versions higher than the one that was in it but it also has an OC and a silent version so there are two versions for each BIOS in there and like I said, this one had both of them, exact same BIOS in both switches. So I don't know what the original owner was doing or what was going on or if he modified these at all. But I don't know, it was really wonky. <laughs> so I did some testing with this and it likes to reset and it was still a little bit buggy. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. But I'll do some more tests and figure it out eventually. But right now we are BIOS modded. I'm just going to close this up. And I went off Panda's video here. As you can see, he hit BIOS mod 43.8 mega hash. And if you look at ours here, you're hitting 43.9. Now, I will have the link to this video in the description. I'll also have the link to the download file in the description and all that. But you can go over Red Panda Mining's video just to see exactly how he did it and everything. And now we'll look at my power consumption. 139, 136. So I think the average is about 137. So I'm going to go with 137 on this power usage. That's total, that's with system and everything. So we'll do some math and see what we're actually using here. Oh, wait, actually, never mind. First, we'll look at our settings, see what we're actually using here as we hash away. <laughs> All right, there you go. We're running 1100 core, 700. Megahertz on the core, we got 800 to the memory and 1280 on the controller with 930 on the memory, which is 1860 if you're in Windows because you times it by two when running with your stuff in Hive OS here. Now you can see 43.94, software is only saying 68. And again, we're using 137, we're going to go with for our number. So I'm going to figure out some numbers here and see what we're at. Okay, so here's my numbers with all the fans and everything running. Our full system, that's without the card, that's card unplugged. Full system is 22.5 watts. Idle with the card in is 40.5 watts. And that is an 18 watt difference between the two. And the reason I do that is because that 18 watts is actually coming from the card, not your system idle, which will come into play later on to figure out your calculations on power supplies and all that needed. Alright, so here we worked it out. So we were running at 137, which works out to be 114.5 watts while mining with this card. So I was pulling 114. Now, if you subtract it here from the actual idle, so that's with the card, you'll come out at 96.5 watts. But I do not like to add uh, the full system with the card in, the idle, as part of the watts. That's why I'm going with the 114.5. If you saw my Nitro video, or my Sapphire Pulse video, you will know why, but I'm going to try to explain it again. The 114.5 is only with the system. Like I stated here, the 22.5 taken off. Because that other 18 watts is in fact coming from the card, so I add that to my card. So that puts us at on a times 6 rig, 687 watts total. Plus our 22.5 for the, this system, if I was to use this system, is 709 watts total. Now for a PSU, you'd need a 1000 watt PSU for that because 80% of a 1000 is 800 watts. And you're almost at the 800 watt mark, which would be 80% perfect for a 1000 watt. Now if you plan on using 850 watt, now 80% of that is 680 watts. So you'd be going over the 80%. So anything when you're dealing with power, you always want to be at a safety margin of 80%. So I would go with a 1,000 watt PSU for a 6 rig build on this. Now if I was going about it and I was using my 96.5 number, which quite a few people do use, um, I do not 
advise that because you don't want to be coming out at 579 watts plus the 22 give you 601.5 watts now the number looks a lot better but if you actually subtract those two you're getting 108 watts and 108 watts is actually the 18 watts times 6 is 108 so the difference between those two is 108 watts based upon the idle and the system actual power draw so I hope that makes sense if you understand that <laughs> but 114.5 watts is what my 5600 XT is pulling BIOS modded running at 43.4 mega hash so there's the numbers they're in so I have so much more stuff to do still I'm gonna try fixing that kinda of changed my little setup here as you can see got a little arm sticking up with our power meter got this to deal around I still gotta get this nitro plus in there get the plastic off that and figure out its BIOSes and get it modded and then compare the nitro plus with the sapphire plus or pulse and quite a bit of stuff together and eventually I'm gonna put everything that I have over 4 gig into this frame and swap them all around so they're ready for ethereum classic with only the 4 gigs because they're all mixed around and yeah a lot of stuff to get going on here <laughs> so don't mind the mess and thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one rabbit out